Hi everyone, welcome back to the my channel. My name is Anil, and in this live wire video tutorial, we will learn about the pagination. So I think uh, you know about the pagination. If you don't know, then don't worry, I will tell you. So pagination is basically when we have the lots of data in the database, and we are not able to show the complete data on a, our page, so that we can just uh, divide the data in the chunks, and uh, we can just define here some steps like first, second, third, fourth steps. On the every step we get uh, some limited amount of the data and now let's start with the points of this video so these are the uh, five points so first of all we have to make a component then we have to define or make a route layout and the model then we will take fetch the data from the database and we will apply the pagination and we will show the result let's look out the data also so my database name is youtube and uh, here you can see that the products table so I have uh, 24 total records in my table and we will show the pagination on that results. So now let's come back here and uh, let's start with the command line. So let's open and just uh, write a component name php artisan make live wire and my component can be a product list and hit the enter so now we have a two uh, file one is the view and another one is the class in the view we will write the html in the class we will write the php logic right so this is very similar to the controller you can see that so now let's come back here and uh, now we have to just define a route for that let's come to the web.php make a simple route here route and it will be the laravel uh, live wire route and just define a route name can be list and our component name can be product list that's great now let's uh, just define the layout file layout file uh, here we have a layout folder inside the view just make a file app dot blade dot php and here we can just take a div here and let's define a yield and here we can put the content name so just write here wrapper or something whatever you want all right and uh, here you can also define live wire script scripts like this all right so we can close this file because we don't need it more for a code and we can also just move the web now let's uh, define a model here so just write here php artisan make model and model name will be what should be our model name our table name is products so our, mo our model name should be product all right so just write here product and just hit the enter now you can see that we have a model inside let's collapse all the file inside the app here you can see that all right so now let's uh, start fetching the data open the live wire product list and just use app product all right that's great and now let's fetch the data from here let's take a variable with the name of products all right and uh, it will just fetch the data from the product all like this and now let's pass this data to the uh, view file products and the value will be dollar products that's great right so now let's open the blade file where it is it should be in the use then uh, live wire and here it is so now i am just going to make a for each loop for each all right and uh, we will choose dollar products as item that's okay and uh, for a moment let's define here uh, h3 tag or whatever and just right here dollar item will be name like this and now you can see that okay so let's go on a list URL here 
we define the list right in the web.php so just let me check uh, here it is so what we got here so app dot product is not here so let me check what's wrong with it so i think okay i just uh, misspell the model here and just write it again all right and now let's check okay but we don't have any data for a moment mm -hmm. and we can also just remove the previous one yeah so just come here and uh, mm, let me check everything is okay let's open the app to play yep actually we have to just write here content right that's my bad if i just use here simply content yep then that that's working fine everything is great but we just have to change the app dot plate dot file all right so here you can but you can see that we don't have a pagination even the there is a lots of data but not a table format and also let's make it in a table format so for that let's define a table like this and just use a tr then we can use a td and let's make some copy and paste for it like this here let's define the name price and category that's great All right and now let's uh, close this table just behind the for each see okay so we got the header here only yeah use the border one pixel yeah this is not a great way to style but still we can just make a little bit different so that uh, we can just see whatever we are where we are going actually all right so now just use these things inside or uh, tr inside the uh, for each loop and just change it the double curly braces dollar item and let's put here name great yeah then let's replace with the price as well as category like this and let's see what we are getting here yeah but still we don't have a pagination here because we did not apply yet so now let's come again on the product list page and just use here use live wire slash with pagination all right so just write here with pagination and now let's use this pagination inside our class in property like this and after that just use here product dot paginate and in this you can just pass a limit of the number so let's say i just want to show a 10 pages 10 records per pages so now let's check okay let me check mm, i think w should be the capital and else everything should be correct again okay mm -mm, i think l should be capital yeah so now you can see that we have only 10 results only here if i just put here five then we will able to see only five result all right but category is not present here mm -mm. now it should be present yep so uh, but we are not able to see the steps here so let's uh, see that how we can make the steps for steps just simply write here uh, we can take a div and inside it double, dub, just use a double curly braces and just write here dollar products and it have a function links and now let's check out yep so now you can see that we go on uh, every steps with the pagination like this all right so uh, let's try to make a little bit style i'm not uh, perfect in a style but still uh, let's do it a little bit 
and just display in line and now we are able to see in a single line that's great so this is the way that how we can implement the pagination if you still have any kind of confusion you can ask me in the comment box don't forget to subscribe my channel and like this video bye bye take care